Anything will fit anywhere with a proper application of force. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the VSO Gun Channel. Thanks for joining us here today. It is excellent to have you here. And today's video is actually one of those incidental videos. And what I mean by that is that we just kind of go about our business and, and do things until something happens. And that is what today is, or at least that's what yesterday was. My phone, not yours, sorry. This is my Volkortz and Scorpion. And it's a 22 caliber pistol. It's an absolute laser gun. We have a full video out on this gun. It's absolutely excellent. But yesterday I went to use it and it didn't work. This thing has been the epitome of reliability the entire time. I've never cleaned it. Not once. I don't even know how to take it apart, to be honest. Like, I'm assuming it has something to do... It's based on, like, the Ruger Mark series. So I'm assuming it has to do with something with this back here, and then the pieces come out. I have never had this gun apart. I have shot it almost exclusively suppressed for probably about three years now. And I know that a conservative estimate is about 8,000 rounds through this gun without cleaning suppressed. And that's, again, a conservative estimate. That's not me just blowing the numbers out of proportion. I knew that I had this much 22 ammo. What percentage of that 22 ammo did I shoot through this gun? Yeah. Lots of 22 ammo through this gun. And my idea of cleaning it has been to spray it full of lubricant to keep it running. And, well, what we've got going on is I went to basically throw the pistol up to shoot it, and it didn't work. And to give you an idea, cycle the bolt, same thing. Cycle the bolt, same thing. Now, interesting, if I hold the trigger to the rear, cycle the bolt, there's a little bit of something there, but it's not what you would typically think of as a reset. You can hear that there's something going on in there. I'm not entirely sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bench and we're just going to take it apart and see what happens. And if I don't see anything that's readily apparent, what we're going to do is we're just going to take the thing. It is a steel construction firearm. So we're just going to take it and dunk it in the ultrasonic cleaner. Sorry, again, my phone, not yours. We're just going to dunk it in the ultrasonic cleaner, let it blast it, see if that resolves the issue. And if that isn't then we need to dig deeper and see what exactly is going on with this thing because uh, I kind of need it to work just gonna go for it so after a fair amount of gnashing of teeth and actually uh, attempting to pry on it like this that is how the mark series type products are taken down the again volt quartz and scorpion is like a mark series so this should come right out so that tells me that the firing mechanism is likely stuck in the cock position. So like I said, we couldn't get that to fall. I'm thinking that it's stuck based on my rudimentary knowledge of this type of product. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to take the gun as is. We're just going to open it up. We're going to drop it in the ultrasonic cleaner, let it get blasted for about an hour to see if that loosens up any gunk inside so that we can then allow that mechanism to be dropped so that we can properly disassemble the thing so we don't damage in the internal components. But I think that that's what's going on. against my better judgment because I can't get this thing apart I am taking the screws off the side of it and disassembling it the wrong way which means that it's probably gonna fly into a million pieces I don't want to do a whole lot of fiddling around in here because I don't want to have to completely rebuild everything that's going on so I'm just trying to find a way to release this back here so that I can get it out and again, it's bound on this mechanism here. So I think what I have to do is move that out of the way. So I've removed that whole mechanism there. Came out as one piece. And now this spring should be able to fold right out of the way. Now this section here should be able to come out right like that. 
and normally that's how you would get that whole thing apart right like that so we'll set this aside and play with it here in a minute and see if we can restore functionality to the frame here figure out why the hell it wasn't working in the first place so this right here appears to be our hammer I'm not entirely sure that that's the hammer but if I pull this trigger here you can see that that bar moves and it looks to me like that's got a sear on it that then should interact with that in some manner shape or form at least that's generally speaking how firearms work and then that hammer should come up and smack the firing pin make it go bang so I'm assuming that this mainspring goes in here like this and provides tension on that thing for whatever reason uh, that tension was relieved in a manner that did not allow it to work and I don't know why but it appears that there is nothing apparently broken in the frame It looks to me like we might actually have a culprit here, guys. So this piece I found in disassembly. And you can see there that that looks like it belongs there. And you also notice, that if I slide this around here, that that just so happens to correspond with just about the approximate area of where the sear is. And I think what happened is this piece broke off, ended up in these guts here somewhere, and ended up locking up the mechanism so that I couldn't get the hammer down. And because I couldn't relieve the tension on the hammer, I couldn't get the mainspring out. And that also presented itself as this piece in the mechanics not allowing the trigger to actuate, and therefore giving us that little tiny little bit of reset that we talked about getting, that was like a a very spongy trigger with minimal forward travel. I think that that piece was lodged in there and that's what caused this gun to lock up. Now, I don't think that this is actually important. So we're just gonna go ahead and get that out of there, get this thing back together, see if she'll run. At some point, guys and gals, you have to know when to call it quits. And that's what we're going to be doing on the Scorpion. I've been working on this thing for about five hours to this point, And to be honest, I can't commit any more time to this thing. <laughs> I tried to test fire the thing. And I replicated the failure one round and then the same thing. squishy trigger and basically uh, I think it has something to do with that piece of the frame that broke off I could see you like looking down in the frame where maybe that might be some kind of homing flange or something like that I'm not entirely sure uh, I did not engineer this gun but I'm gonna have to basically hand it over to the powers that be because what's basically happening is the hammer is coming too far forward and it's impacting the bolt in a weird place so when we even though we can work this it's basically locking up the mainspring i can't get it out yet again and basically it's gonna have to be looked at by somebody uh, who actually has the tools to fix it because i do have a sneaking suspicion that it's going to require a replacement of this panel of the frame here and that's just the way it goes again this gun has been absolutely beat to pieces over the course of the last three years so it's not unreasonable to think that putting this gun through probably three or four times the lifetime of what the gun was originally designed to shoot <laughs> uh, would cause it to have a parts breakage but anyway we are going to submit an RMA to Volkortsen and then we'll do an update video when we get it back or once we hear something out of them and hopefully there's some good news there but anyway stay tuned maybe we'll have an update coming for you guys in the not too distant future thanks for joining us today on the vso gun channel hopefully we'll see you guys on a future video it depends on what, what context you're talking about i mean i suppose that i suppose you could fit an eggplant in your twat if you tried 
Well, I suppose that probably wouldn't work because the, the eggplant would probably disintegrate. Have you ever, like, tried to push on an eggplant? Yeah, they get kind of squishy. 